What's going on everybody, Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing ISC. That's right guys, you're not getting a face cam today because this is not my damn account. If you can see, it is King for Days, aka AJ for Days, the biggest whale slash F2P player on, on the planet. Um, I want to thank my boy for doing this because obviously I've been shafted a hell of a long time now. Uh, guys, we're at 92k and no you are since then. It has been a dry spell for your boy. So thank you AJ for coming through for this. So here we go guys. Today we're actually going to be doing a Madara showcase. Now my boy actually ended up getting both characters fairly quickly. It looks like he stole my luck but that's okay. This is why you have friends in big places. So uh, AJ here is going to actually show off his. So we're going to start off with the usual artwork guys there you go uh, amazing colors probably one of my favorite looks in the game i've talked about this already the color schematics the character looks f absolutely phenomenal aj actually went ahead and did me a favor um he's actually going to go ahead and, and show you guys the actual five star there you go uh you're a good man for doing that as you guys know this is a four star showcase to so keep that in mind so the stats will differ obviously he'll also unlock the dir and drr as five and six stars happen uh but right now we're going to be focusing on the four star so going back to the character now all right so real quick uh, the thing with this is not really Madara. This is obviously Obito in Madara's mask. But let's look at the link bonuses real quick. As you see, he needs a Richimaru and, and uh, Kabuto. So you can get both of them actually in the Shinobi Exchange Shop. You need Kisame and Conan, which to me still make no sense why those two specifically. Uh, so Kisame and Conan require for the Akatsuki versions. And then for the defense one, you need B and KCM. So this is actually a fairly um, UR heavy unit for link bonuses specifically now aj forgot to show his stats but that's all good uh i'm gonna make them up 40 percent across the board uh ideally guys d unit so you're probably looking at really high D, uh, grr you're looking at probably high uh guard rate as well two guard damage rate sorry uh probably really good uh damage reduction rate uh and uh most likely very mediocre crit rate crit crit damage right in the attack so he's really there to to make your team survive so now i would have told you more but i don't unfortunately have him so i can't so here we are we're gonna have to jump into the actual tri special now he has two and they're both two man tribes now his specific first one with him being the main you can choose which one you want this one here is actually used to do uh confuse on all enemies decrease all enemies chakra by 1500 uh lower all enemies damage reduction rate by 1800 uh and then the other one is actually meant to be a heal and a buff for all your attack stats so the first one is a debuffing one the second one is a buffing one so both are very very good for abyss especially so really good tribes for this unit um so let's look at his skills now all right so kamui uh, deals damage to all active enemies, chance to stun them, lowers target damage reduction, sorry, damage increase rate, and boosts all am all, all allies damage uh, reduction rate by three turns. A really, really good jutsu. A lot of people are comparing it, obviously, to um, to Sage Mode Jiraiya's. Very similar, but also very different at the same time. All right, so this one is massive. So 50% guard rate for one turn, guys. That is nuts. So if you're gonna have a big nuke happening that turn, you're gonna be able to guard it pretty well. Obviously, the stats here are, are pretty standard for D units. And then the two type of ocular powers is boost all allies damage reduction rate by 28% at the start of the turn and boost all allies guard rate by 18% for the rest of the battle. That is pretty nuts, guys. That doesn't stack, unfortunately, that rest of the battle one. That happens only once, but 18% from the get-go is a lot and the damage reduction rate is pretty massive. Now, is LB2 boost all allies damage reduction rate at the start of any turn after an ally has been defeated? Now, this one does stack, all right? So the more allies that die, the better he becomes as a tank. Now he is a bona fide uh, OP unit in comparison to a lot of tanks out there, but he's very similar to Sage Mode Jiraiya in a lot of different ways. They provide different buffs, but they play the same role, right? So here you go. He has the same. Uh, he has a different kind of chakra um, increase, which is if you have to hit him. You want to definitely get all of these to 20, especially Vitality 3. Uh, but the first one is every time you hit him, he gains Chakra. It's different than SMJs, obviously. Uh, so in, the, in some regards, he's better. In some regards, he's worse. Overall, his damage will be better and his guard rate will be much better. But Sage Mode Jirai has a couple extra things, obviously, like the self-heal. He has crit suppression. So there are two different units. But if you use them in tandem, they're great. Oh, here we go. He actually provided the stats. So as I was saying, 40 across the board. I was pretty close. Not at all. Uh, so 20 across the board, 42.99% guard rate, which which I'm assuming is coming from AJ's um, training as well too. So overall, not bad at four stars in terms of stats, but he's not there for damage, guys. He's there for, to protect your team and make sure you guys live, right? So let's take a look at an arena fight here that AJ did. As you can see here, AJ is going to see me. He's not going to touch me at all. He's going to go straight to luck. Good for you, AJ. Good for you being a smart player. Uh, so you see he's got SMJ and he's got... Um, uh, 
Obito slash Madara together. He, he pairs him up with Heavy and Sixtail. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to see how well he pairs as a tank with SMJ. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off with uh, with his first squad, which is the energy team. He's got Rene, SMJ, and he's got Psy. So let's see here. As again, you guys can tell, SMJ is here to do... So if SMJ did a skill 2 there, he would have actually protected uh, everybody from crits, right? He does crit suppression, a really high percentage of it as well too. But in this case, he didn't do it. Uh, here I'm very surprised that AJ actually is running uh, Sorcery without... Uh Sorcery without uh, Rene on the same team. That's interesting. Uh, I guess the Sublime must be doing pretty good damage, but I'm shocked, to be quite honest. So here we go. Very, very tanky team on on uh, on Lux Spirit team. So here we go, guys. So this is where you're going to see. See, he doesn't have his Jitsu, so that's a problem in itself. So three turn, he's a four turn Jitsu character. There you go. He did a skill two now. Now watch. We're going to watch what a skill two does. Obviously, it's going to increase everyone's guard rate right there. You saw on the... On the on the character's frames but this is the next round is where i'm really curious to see how much how much protection this it, it also affects this right now too so let's see if he actually guards kakashi's damage all right that'll be a big test to see how much his guard guard rate does there you go that was guard man he did almost no damage to him so that's what i'm talking about guys so that is obscene amount of guard rate so kakashi almost hit like it was a feather falling on his head um so let's see if he doesn't kill everybody here with his i think he will though with his jutsu uh, if anybody can get off an attack we'll see the guard rate in action again uh and it's so important guys especially for pvp nwt especially things for places like abyss right those those guard rate um instances make such a massive difference so let's see how much damage we pull off okay so here guard rate look at that so I have no problem protected himself Oh, okay, so that one wasn't a guard rate. The first one was, though, and honestly, Obito hitting Sai with full-on Jutsu should have killed him, but obviously that guard rate was massive and helped him survive, and that way it's easier for him to take another hit and then two other characters live, right? So that's why Obito is there, guys. It's not just for the damage. It's not just for the stun. It's there for the obscene amount of guard rate and damage reduction rate he's providing uh, through his trait and his uh, skill too, as well as his jutsu as well, right? So um, amazing, amazing unit to have if you don't have SMJ. If you have SMJ, you can play, uh, use them in tandem and, and you know, kind of take advantage of the insane bust that they provide you as a tank. But overall, he, he's, it's not required to use them both together, but he will be a very good abyss unit. All right, so let's see what happens here. And we're going to get to actually see his, his move in action. If you have not seen Kamui, uh, I, I like Kakashi's version better, to be honest. Uh, but, I mean, they're, they're completely different looks, right? So, let's see if Six Tails actually ends up killing everybody. He might. If not, then at least we'll get to see Kamui in action. All right, and again, I want to thank AJ for doing this. I know this is not ideal to have to record uh, a showcase for a content creator. But, you know what? When you spend 90k and you get nothing for it, it kind of sucks. So here we go, guys. There we go. The MS Sharingan. There is the Kamui. And there's the, the Jitsu, right? Now, the whole point, again, wasn't to do damage. It's to get a stun off, which it didn't, but also to provide those buffs. So let's see. I think he'll probably end up finishing them off here, most likely. Unless, yeah, uh, he might he might end up fin finishing them off here. Uh, oh, maybe not. So you get to see the... Uh, Oh, he got a stun off, so that's good. So there, that's, that's what I mean right there, right? Like, you have SMJ there for a stun, you have Kamui there for a stun. So that pretty much will showcase that, guys. So overall, if you have him, great for PvP, great for NWT, great for Abyss. But if you have SMJ, honestly, like it's it's still a good addition to your team. It doesn't hurt to have him, but it doesn't mean you have to have him on the same team. I would pretty much stagger the two of them, to be honest, in, in Abyss. But for PvP, having them together can make quite the difference, especially if you uh, want to run a tank-heavy team or just to protect your A's. All right, guys, this is Payne. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Thank you again, AJ, for the showcase.